How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Grovana, and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 3. This is part 55, and in the last episode, we found the cure for the disease that's ravaging the pit, which is a DLC in Fallout 3. We're going to go ahead and close this door so we have some peace and quiet, but not really. Uh, and it was a baby, and we gave that baby to Medea. They're going to research that baby and then ransom it back to Asher, because it is the daughter of Asher. And uh, hopefully that has solved the cure problem oh actually i think we we're finding werner now in the steel yard because we need to finish this cure problem but there's everett Ooh. saw you fighting in the hole what a piece of work now i know why you ain't afraid of those drugs no hard feelings huh and it was always weird because this guy is kind of like a nice guy even though he's a slaver um and you can see he's a blue blip not a red blip even though all of the slaves and the slavers are fighting each other now this guy's still an ally no hard feelings but i'm not taking any more of your shit how about i put you to the whip huh no hard feelings but i'm not taking any more of your shit ever understood champ but if you want to keep collecting ingots i still got plenty of gear stashed away you bring me ingots i'll make sure you get rewarded can't be more fair than that. Yeah, that's all the ingots I got. Where can I find steel ingots? I'm going to go now. All right, see you later. So, what a great guy. He's, uh, even though he's aligned with the slavers, he's still going to reward us and generally not fire his weapon at us. That's kind of cool of him. Okay, so Werner should be somewhere in the steel yard, which, as I mentioned in the last episode, is the place with all of the trogs and general things that want to kill us. I think there's even some humans that live in there that are d disillusioned or crazy or something like that. So once again, we head into the steel yard, with, which is a complete death zone, and the location of 100 steel ingots that you can find for an achievement and for various rewards that Everett will give us. But I don't think we're going to get to that stuff in uh, this Let's Play, simply because that sounds like an immense waste of time, and you guys could simply look up the rewards for what you get online. And uh, yeah. Okay, so back in the steel yard, and now we need to find Werner, and it... Okay, I was wondering, it looked for a second like it was saying, okay, I, I really hate how you can't jump through these these little holes. That's like super annoying. Um, Alright, so let's go over here. We have like three red blips in the distance over there, and if I had to guess, I would say that it's Trogs. Trog Savage, yeah. We are kind of a high level, so I would think that we're going to be fighting um, the upper echelons of trogs and not just the base level trogs we also have a couple of blue blips here which is kind of interesting i don't know who they might oh the protectrons that's right when we first went to the steel yard we activated a set of protectrons that act as our allies i wonder if any of them have died i see two i think there were four total so it looks like we're going to explore oh there's also a dead body here that i don't think i looted pit slave worn slave outfit doesn't have anything all right It'd be interesting if that skin condition could affect you as well, like if you stayed in this DLC long enough, you'd also get that gross, disgusting, cracked skin look. Alright, so this marks the spot where we haven't been, I think. Um, actually, we have been in here, I remember looting the ingots, but we haven't been past this gate. So everything past this point is brand new to us. So Werner's probably up there, yeah, you can go all the way up there, which is gonna suck because it looks like we might have to find our way up there. And I don't really remember how to get up there. Um, yeah, he's in fact most definitely up there. So let's look for something to help us get up. There's a uh, staircase. Okay, there's a dead slave, which has nothing. All these dead slaves are the slaves that had to go into the steel mill like us to get the 10 ingots. There's a couple of ingots, actually. Might as well take any that we see, although hopefully they don't weigh too much. Okay, so we're going to have to keep a lookout for places that will allow us to continue going higher and higher um let's see i see a staircase over there but it looks like it's broken yeah it doesn't look like we can use that to get over there um well rather than subject you guys to me just wandering around here i'll go ahead and skip to the part where i figured it out by internet magic bloop Alright, so there's actually a staircase like right there that I didn't see, and it looks like this is leading us to where we wanted to go. Let's go and take these two steel ingots and also Wild Bill. Oh, this, yeah, okay, I was looking, yeah, I, I remember there was one guy that had a unique name that had a unique weapon as well, and it looks like this is him, Wild Bill. So he's got, he has a uh, .32 caliber rounds, a head wrap, note from Wire, Wild Bill, and Wild Bill's sired arm. Let's go ahead and take a look at that note. 
Note from Wild Bill. I'm not going to make it, Millie. I'm sorry. I knew everyone thought I could do it, but they don't know what's out here. It's not just Trogs, but others. The Wild Men. Kind of funny considering my nickname, Wild Bill, back at the mill. Finding the ingots wasn't the hard part. They're everywhere. The problem was trying to make my way back to the mill. My trusty sidearm came in handy more than once, but I soon found myself in more trouble than I could handle. The gunfire alerted the wild men, and I assume it's only a matter of time before they find me. I'm sorry for letting everyone down at the mill. Let everyone know I tried my hardest. Bye. So I wonder if you can actually get that note to Millie. I don't know if a Millie exists in this time period. But anyways, let's keep heading up here. And I'll take a look at what Wild Bill's sidearm does uh, when I have the chance, and I will tell you guys. So we do have a blue blip. But it's probably a protector on... No, it's a slave. Pit slave. Hello? Okay, he's saying go away, but he's not actually saying it. That's kind of odd. We do have a quest marker into this door, which is Werner's Hideout. Well, if I had to take a guess at a location where Werner would be, I would think it would be Werner's Hideout. That's just me, though. Okay. So, we do have a blue blip. And if you remember, Asher wanted us to kill uh, Werner, so I would... Guess that this is the same exact thing you have to do if you want to come and kill him. But here he is. Ah, you finally made it. I've got everything ready and there are plenty of tests to run. So hurry up and put the brat in the crib. Oh, I still have the baby? Okay, I thought the baby was with Medea. She's here, but you never told me this meant kidnapping. Yeah, because you would have just whined about it. If you aren't getting your hands dirty, you aren't making a difference. Welcome to the world. What's important is that the kid is here now, and we can move on to the last part of the plan. That's just a simple matter of letting the Trogs overrun Haven and take care of the bosses for us. Sounds good. Let's finish this. That wasn't the deal, Werner. I'm having second thoughts about all of this. Oh, sure. We'll just march back to Asher and his venomous little wifey and say, Sorry, I stole your firstborn. My mistake. You're in it this far. It's easier to follow through than it is to back out. Sure, fine, whatever. Let's get this over with. He'd forgive me if I put an end to you, and I intend to. This is weird. This is a really weird situation here. Um, I, uh, I really don't know what to do. This is like a moral uh, moral quandary here. Sure, fine, whatever. Let's get this over with. Or he'd forgive me if I put an end to you, and I intend to. You know what? Let's just spice it up. He'd forgive me if I put an end to you, and I intend to. You cowardly little shit. You're afraid to get your hands dirty. So you go crawling back to Asher for forgiveness? And after all this work, you're gonna turn around and betray me? You know, I already have everything I need from you, so you're expendable. Speech 75%. One chance, Werner. Leave now and never come back. I guess there's no other option. Goodbye, Werner. Sure, fine. Obviously, you've joined with Asher, and I think you've got a bright future as a lackey. You really do. But you know what? Fuck this city, and fuck the raiders. Fuck the slaves, and fuck you too, fucker. I'm gone. Language, my man. Language. Okay, stop Werner. Return the baby to her home. This is interesting. Now, the, the thing that I'm hoping will happen is we'll be able to convince Asher to free the slaves. I've never done it this way, so I'm really interested to find out. Let's see what Werner has over here. He's got Rataway, Blood Pack, uh, some Mentats, and what is that? Power Plant Key. Okay, he's also got a desk with 10 millimeter rounds inside of it. Anything over here? Some milk, some whiskey. And, uh, some vodka. What a great diet of alcohol. Um, anything down here? It looks like just some jet and some pre-war money. Someone said very very early on in the playthrough that I should be taking the pre-war money, and I was like, yeah, I should be. But then I, I remember, isn't that only in Fallout New Vegas? I don't think there's anybody you can trade pre-war money to. Okay, is there a little, like, no way to get out of here? Um, how the hell do I get back on the stairs? Oh, okay, there's, there's a little stairway over here. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anybody to trade pre-war money to in Fallout 3. I think it's just pre-war books. I might be wrong, but I don't remember. Anyways, looks like we need to go back to Asher now. I'm really excited to see how this is going to play out because, again, I don't, I didn't do it this way. I think I, uh, gave Werner the baby and, um, allowed him to do it that way. Even though Werner sounded like a jerk and sounded like he was doing things the wrong way, I thought at the time, like, oh, this is the good option. So, that's what I did there. So, it's kind of interesting to see what's going to happen here, because I have no clue. Hopefully, like I said, I'm thinking that we'll be able to convince Asher to free the slaves, and everybody lives happily ever after, and we also cure the disease. That would be the absolute best thing. But something also tells me that that's not going to be 
uh, the way that it plays out. All I'm concerned with, really, is keeping my positive karma. I don't really want any negative karma. There's a slave that we saw die earlier. Are these raiders still going to kill me? It looks like it. They're all red. So that's kind of odd, too. I wonder if we go in here and, like, everybody's going to be red and we're not even going to be able to talk to Asher. So back into Haven. Let's see how this all plays out, shall we? I'm really interested. Come to your senses, have you? Here's your daughter safe and sound and Warner's gone too. I guess, but it was sure fun while it lasted. Here's your daughter safe and sound and Warner's gone too. I still ought to slice you open. You're lucky my daughter's still safe. I'll let Asher decide what to do with you. Get out of my sight. Okay, well I'm not really excited with what's happening so far because it seems like we're going down the slaver path and uh, that's not what I want to do, but Don't give me that holier in other news, the, uh, the pit raiders aren't attacking us, so I guess we've evened out with their faction, so, yeah. Uh, one thing we're probably going to miss out now on is Asher's armor. I know if you do it the other way, you can get Asher's armor. There's Asher. You kidnapped my daughter, fought my raiders, and gave the workers the ridiculous idea that they can free themselves. What do you have to say in your defense? Speech 100%. I'm sorry, but it was the only way to lure Werner out of hiding. Um, it won't happen again. Uh oh, no. This is sounding like we're siding with Asher. I didn't want it to do it this way. I'm sorry, but it was the only way to lure Werner out of hiding. Clever thinking. Couldn't you have let us in on your little plan? No matter, Marie's safe now. And that's what really matters. The city's got a bright future ahead of it. And I guess you'll have a chance to see it. What do you mean about the city's future? Now that you have Marie back, please set the slaves free so you're not gonna kill me? Okay, there we go. Now that you have Marie back, please set the slaves free. I wish I could. But you have to see things in the bigger picture. Without those workers, this city would fall apart. The city's disease means we can't have kids. So slaves and recruits are the only way we get new people in the city. But someday soon, we'll have a cure. And we won't need forced labor. The workers will be free, and the city can grow naturally. Thanks to what you've done, that day is coming. But until then... This is the only way the city can survive. Okay, so I actually like Asher a lot. I remember him being, like, totally evil the last time I played this, but that's not how he is. And other than the slave thing, he's a pretty cool guy, you know? He wants the best for everybody, but the slave thing is kind of like a deal breaker. What do you mean about the city's future so you're not going to kill me? What do you mean about the city's future? Now that Marie's back, we have a chance at curing the disease that's been ravaging the pit since the bombs. Without it killing our kids can grow like a real city. No more bringing in slaves. No more forced labor. Things can get better. It's taken me a lot of work to rebuild this city. With your help, it's finally going to have a chance. Okay, so you're not gonna kill me? Obviously you're not. I probably should. Hell, I still might. But you got rid of Werner. And things are looking good. So you're welcome in my city. For now. As long as you stay in line. You're free to use the mill's ammo press. But I recommend you head out of town before using the ammo itself. And Sandra's made some progress with the radiation studies. You're not on her good side. But I'm sure she wouldn't mind testing it out on you. Okay, Perk added, medical justice or medical research from the pit has improved your life. Just try not to think of what it may have cost others. No! Ugh, looks like we ended this DLC in a bad way. I wasn't trying to, ladies and gentlemen, I promise. No, oh, no. So what do I do now? I guess it's time to kick back and live the life of luxury. So what do I do now? That's up to you. We'll keep working on the cure and keep the city running. You're free to come and go as you like. Of course, you can help out at the mill by collecting metal from the steel yard. It helped lighten the load on the workers. And if you want to work on Sandra's good side, you can always bring her toys for Marie. It's a little thing, but it'd make a difference. Okay, where did you get that powered armor? Uh, and it looks like we've completed the DLC. With the side of the slavers, that's not how I pictured this was going to happen. Not at all. Where did you get that powered armor? This thing? 
It's a relic from my time with the Brotherhood of Steel decades ago. It's been through so much that they'd hardly recognize it as one of theirs. A little like me, come to think of it. So he was actually in the Brotherhood of Steel. Interesting. Do you ever miss the brother Brotherhood of Steel? He said, no. How's Marie doing? Little Marie. I don't really care. Uh, I have to go now. You're always welcome in the pit. Okay, well... Uh, yeah, looks like we sided with the slaves. The slavers, I mean. Um... I don't know, it, this this whole DLC, all the options were kind of morally ambiguous. Um, you know, Werner seemed like actually a more bad guy than, than Asher was, even though of course Asher is the leader of a whole bunch of slaves, obviously. Let's just double check, make sure we're not missing anything. He does have a safe over here, but I suspect there's nothing in it. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and make my way back over to the the mill itself because apparently we've been given a reward. Um, also, apparently we can talk to Sandra. What? Would it help if I brought toys for Marie? I know I shouldn't trust you, but if it'll make Marie happy, it means I can get some sleep. So okay. She seems to really enjoy teddy bears. She just can't seem to get enough of them. Bring as many as you can, and I'll even pay you. Once I make sure they aren't filled with razor blades. Oh, please, I'm not a baby killer. How's Marie? Yeah, I have to go now. So it's another uh, little situation where you can exchange things for caps. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and make sure that we're not missing anything significant in this DLC. And I'm also going to make my way over to the mill, which is where one of our rewards lie. So I'll see you guys there. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so we did thing like there's not really a bad option for this DLC because the thing is if you sided with Werner, if you did everything on their side, I mean no one gets cured. It, no one gets cured this entire time because it the cure just takes too long to be found out and you'll never see anyone cured in a playthrough of Fallout 3. But if you side with Werner, Medea says like and you know everyone's free, Medea says like and you do oh by the way, you do kill Asher and you can get his armor and all that stuff. Medea will say that she doesn't know how these people don't like kill everybody like she basically says like even though they're free the slaves still act like they're you know wild people and and don't have manners and kill everybody anyways so it's like it doesn't really matter who you side with the pit is always going to be in a state of uh depression basically and bad things happening all the time um, you also get the same rewards it looks like for whoever you side with. You get a perk, you get um, the ability to use the steel, the steel mill which will allow you to like make your own ammo and stuff which is where we're going right now. I'm going to show you guys that before we end this episode. There's also a ton of unique weapons and armor which the majority of you can find in the, uh, the steel yard of course. And finally, there's no more quests. There are a couple of unmarked quests. We, one we've already done by finding Wild Bill and getting his sidearm. But there's another one where you can snitch on the slaves, which will give you negative karma, but also caps. So, yeah, I'm looking here. There's, like, the infiltrator, which we already have. There's the man opener, which, if I remember right, is a unique version of the auto axe. There's the mauler, perforator, metal blaster, steel knuckles, steel saw, Wild Bill's sidearm. Uh, and then armor and clothing, there's Asher's power armor, bombshell armor, filtration helmet, gamma shield armor, hat of the people, labor outfit, leather rebel, metal master armor, raider iconoclast armor, raider commando armor, raider throwdown armor, raider ordinance armor, raider pain giver armor, supervisor helmet, tattered slave outfit, tribal power armor, worn slave outfit, wait, tribal power armor, that's like Asher's thing, I think. I don't know, worn slave outfit and wielder's mask, or welder's mask. Um, okay, so we're back here, and you can also, of course, do all the ingots and uh, get a lot of those unique stuff from that. But if we go to one of these presses here, we should be able to make our own ammo. It might be this? No, it's not this. Okay. So yeah, even though we didn't free the slaves... And by the way, there's no option to convince Asher to free the slaves either. He will just not do that no matter what. So, yeah, our options was pretty limited. So we didn't really end this that badly. But, uh, yeah, I think... What, if we head over here? Where's the thing that we need to activate, damn it? Oh, there we go. Okay. Material spin. Um, well, let me go ahead and figure this out. Okay, so there's an ammo press terminal here. Operating instructions and ammo production. 
Load ammo or raw metal into materials bin. Use terminal to select ammo type to produce. Press ammo. Retrieve newly pressed ammo from materials bin. Ammo production. No usable materials in bin. Okay, so there should be a bin. I'm guessing it's this one right here. So let's go ahead and put some uh, ammo in there because I don't think we have any scrap metal. You can also use scrap metal. Let's put some ammo in there that we don't really use. A perfect amount would be, or a perfect type would be the 5mm round, which is used for the uh, machine guns. Let's put that there. Let's go ahead and go to ammo production. Uh, select new ammunition type for reprocessing. 308 would be the best, which is the sniper rifle. Uh, calculate production run. Press. 308 caliber rounds let's calculate material will be will produce 51 to 100 rounds okay let's do that pressing let's do that okay i think it's doing it all right let's get out of here and now it should change that ammo into 74 308 rounds which is actually really 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 good um let's see if we have any more ammo just to end this episode off let's go into ammo and 32 we don't really use oh no we do use 32 44 we don't really use 10 millimeter um let's see it's funny that you can make like bbs and darts into it let's go with uh energy cells yeah there we go that'd be kind of interesting uh, this shouldn't work because how could you make energy cells into regular ammo but let's see ammo production no usable materials yeah so i guess we we have to use actual ammo there let's go ahead and take that out and put um let's put 10 millimeter rounds in there yeah and let's try to make some more 308. This is actually really good because now we have a ton of uh, 308 ammo. Which is pretty hard to find. Press. It's pressing. And let's go get our new ammo. And 42 more rounds. Yeah, so we have quite a bit now. So that's pretty much the pit. The only things we miss, like I said, is the majority of the steel yard. Which, you know, it'd just be... It would take too long to show you guys that. And really, all, all it would be would be me getting a whole bunch of ingots. And I think that sounds boring. So, not going to do that. Um, and, of course, a bunch of the unique armor and weapons that, again, is found in the steel yard. And other than that, I think we've pretty much seen everything. We have all the perks. We have all of the uh, quests done. There's only three. And the only other miscellaneous quests we didn't see or unmarked quests was the snitch thing, where you can snitch on some slaves and get some caps and also some negative karma. So, uh, I kind of like the pit. Uh, it's definitely not my favorite. It's definitely not my least favorite. Hope you guys enjoyed the run-through of it. In the next episode, we're going to do something completely different. My name's Grove and I will see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye. Thanks for watching this episode, ladies and gentlemen. I do hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please remember to like and share the video wherever you can. It really helps me out. If you have a question or a suggestion, Twitter is the best way to get in touch with me, and if you would like to subscribe or watch another video that's going to be related to this one, you can click the annotations on the screen. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.